great things in my family, specifically in my family. Um, what I can say is, they say, I just thought, you know what, after all God has done for me, what better way can we celebrate him? What better way can I just express my gratitude to him? So I, it came into my spirit that, you know what, what the best thing I can offer to God is just uh, to offer him with a grateful concert, a concert that I'm grateful. I cannot offer him much, but the praises that I, I can do is just to say, thank you God for what you've done. So um, it came as a, um, as a, it started as a vision and now today we're seeing the fruit of it. So yeah, I'm grateful. Okay, <laughs> uh, still follow up on that one. Uh, can we expect a uh, surprises, uh, Christmas books to your fans <laughs> on the show since we are in the festive season? Right. Um, yes, we are in a festive season. I believe that in festive seasons, we, it's uh, giving, it's a giving season. So hopefully, just look out, maybe there's something special coming on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Then to Bishop, uh, Thank you for gracing the grateful, uh, the grateful concert. And uh, as, uh, as a gospel musician, I would say a veteran gospel musician, how are you seeing the gospel uh, music in Africa uh, growing? And what, uh, what best, how best can we develop it to take it a step further? Well, to start uh, on, I would just want to say thank you to Eliana. Uh, for really uh, calling on us and, and for us to come and um, show our gratitude uh, for what God is doing in her life and, and doing even through her ministry. And uh, we are so grateful that we can be part of your journey um, as the Lord is using you. Uh, personally, I would say it's a joy for me. Uh, to really, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to become a, a midwife uh, for for quite a number of uh, gospel artists and and to help them birth the that which is inside of them and for people to realize what I their purpose is. And I would say in uh, answering your question, and that is I'm so grateful that God is doing something that is new uh, where, you know, there's uh, worship, people that sing about the God that they know, the God that they have a relationship with, and the God that they have fellowship with, you know, because um, it is uh, only when you have that fellowship that you are able uh, to know as to what it is that God wants done at that particular time. And so uh, for me, I'm coming from an era, or let me say a time where uh, people would sing about God, but they don't have a relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. And they would sing about gospel because they love it. And some of them, they would actually do gospel just because it is a selling uh, genre, mm -hmm. you know, and they just want to make money, you know. But now God has really taken us a feather, a, a step feather, sorry, mm -hmm. um, and such that uh, we are able uh, to become instruments mm -hmm. uh, for God to use to bless other people mm -hmm. and and even to bring transformation in the lives of other people. And I'm so glad that I'm living in that era. I'm living in that time where we realize the move of God. And uh, even as uh, Liana is saying, I mean, uh, we need to say thank you mm -hmm. for what God is doing. And, and, and thanks makes room for more. Yes. You know, and when you say thank you, then God is able to bless you again mm -hmm. because you are grateful. You have gratitude. I think uh, uh, it's an honor. It's an honor to be part of this time. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Then uh, last question to you is: uh, We've seen a lot of collaborations that you are doing with uh, Zimbabweans. Uh, what lesson 
if you learn from the Zimbabweans and uh, should we say that Zimbabwe is favored uh, you having collaboration <laughs> <laughs> look look this is my best collaboration <laughs> um, we are grateful to be here I think gratitude uh, opens doors mm. and um, we, we have come to the end of the year mm. and we are saying thank you Mm -hmm. And um, we are thanking God for what He has done, and we are also thanking Him for what He will do. Mm -hmm. um, so we are here, and this time I believe that we are going to have enough time to praise and to worship God. Mm -hmm. um, the songs that we are going to do are the songs that just lead us into that place of gratitude. Mm -hmm. uh, it's selfless, it's centered on God, mm -hmm. and um, we are looking forward uh, to have a wonderful time. Uh, in the presence of the Lord tomorrow. Yeah. Um, come prepared. Come ready. Yeah. Because we minister unto God and we minister unto God's people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are putting on the garments, mm -hmm. the priestly garments to minister unto God. God has already accepted us mm -hmm. and he has empowered us to minister unto him and unto his people. Mm -hmm. So we are ready and our sister here is ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, the great reverend... <coughs> Is is I, I love him so much because I, I there are so many similarities. He's a man of God. He's pastoring. Wait. I'm doing the same. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. we have a lot to learn yeah. from him, and we are grateful to be here. There's only one thing left uh, yeah. that I must do a song with him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think uh, we just have got to then ask our sister. Lem, is it okay? <laughs> collaboration awesome. then my last question to you uh minister is uh your experience in the gospel uh mm. field not uh from zimbabwe but uh as, as a war mm -hmm. uh We've of, of late we've seen uh, how gospel music in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. especially the concert, are uh, improving, are uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. What uh, one thing can you say that it is uh, that has taken that gospel uh, uh, show in Zimbabwe abroad? Yeah, I think um, myself, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I think this is 30 years in music now, which mm -hmm. are three decades. I've lived in the era of. Um, the great Baba Manyeruke, um, Brian Sibalo, coming into the year of my dear brothers, um, the Charambas, and now it's it's our era, it's our time, it's our season. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that there is one thing that is very important that I've noticed, um, and uh, the men of God just spoke about it. Um, we have grown into uh, the spiritual aspect mm. of, of the music that we are doing. So just come prepared to receive more from the Lord through our ministry. Yes. And uh, like, how has it been working with your husband? <laughs> 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 I won't say it, <laughs> but <laughs> 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 how was the experience? Uh, with all humility, I will say it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Who does most of the music, uh, musical stuff in our marriage, in our ministry? My husband just comes and uh, sings. <laughs> okay, uh, over to you, uh, Elliot. Uh, tell us the experience you've seen, uh, you've evolved, you've grown from. Uh, being the young boy we used to yeah. know to, uh, up to now to like um, a well-known uh, artist, gospel yeah. artist. Yeah. Uh, what makes you unique in the gospel music? Um, okay, uh, first and foremost, I, I, I'm grateful to God um, who, who gave me the gift to, to, to sing. Um, and, and I'm grateful to him for, for you know, for giving me this gift and to be a steward of of what God has given me but over the years like what you've said I've passed through a lot of hands 
and uh, I believe that has also helped my ministry mm -hmm. and shaped it into what it is today. Uh, in life, you go through processes, and some of the processes they they mold you. Uh, you become better and better as you as you as you grow. And now, as you heard from my wife, uh, I mean the capable hands of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's doing the best that she's doing. That's why you are seeing this. And um, I think also over the years, what has helped me now is accepting the call of God over my life uh, as a pastor and finishing school, graduating and being in the vineyard. That that has helped me a lot. I can see since it's in King's Land, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So, right. Um, uh, the, the previous uh, speakers, uh, the artist uh, Bishop Benjamin and Minister Michael they promised us could he pump it up to not gonna gonna collab with Elian. Yeah. What can you promise us? It's recorded. Saga, we, we, we cannot wait. I'm, 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 I'm hoping and praying that something definitely will come up between the two camps. Uh, it's something that I would want to see um, from the two ladies. Maybe something that I would want to see from, from, from them. I'm going to tell one home camp. Something like that. 